know, Bill Stepien, he had a surprise this morning. He was supposed to testify today, but the surprise was he found out that his wife went into labor. So he pulled out of the hearing. However, because of that, um, I did tune in until later, and I found out I was tuning in just as it was starting. That 45-minute delay was because Stepien had to bail out at the last minute. But anyway, um, the, the, the people on the committee and the staff were obviously prepared because they had video clips from Stepien's private deposition. And, and they played a lot of footage from his testimony uh, from those depositions. And that testimony revealed all sorts of details about his conversation with Trump and how he advised the orange vomit not to declare victory on election night. But, nah, you know, fuck all that. So, as CNN reports it, let me just quote, in some ways, the outcome gave the Democratic-run committee more power to control what the public heard from Stepien. He wasn't in the room to say his piece, which could have included some defenses of Trump and some pushback against the committee. Instead, the panel could pick and choose which deposition clips it played, and they focused like a laser on the most damaging material for Trump. End quote, CNN. Well, you know, I would uh, I would ask the writer at CNN, what the fuck do you expect? <laughs> what would you have uh, the, the committee do with the testimony that this sorry bastard, even though he tried to tell Trump that he was insane and, you know, this is crazy. What would you have? Uh, what would you rather have presented as testimony, if not the most damning material? Look, this this whole thing is to prove Trump committed, if not treason, uh, the worst crime against America that any one individual could could commit in peacetime. That's why we don't call it treason. But Trump is a rotten son of a bitch who set this country on a path of destruction. He released all these sick little boy fuckers who run around in their toy uniforms and their very powerful guns and clubs and knives and snarly, gnarly beards and shit. He released them onto the American public. He released the fascist Christians with their bigotry and their lies and their deceit and their blood fucking cult. So what are we supposed to do, CNN writer? Other than praise the committee for revealing the most damning pieces of Stepien's uh, testimony to convict this filthy son of a bitch Trump. Now, granted, it's not up to the committee to convict anybody. They can't indict. They can't convict. All they can do is present. And then it's up to Merrick Garland. And that's going to be fun to watch. Do you think Merrick Garland will have the spine when this is all over to indict the orange vomit at all of his cohort? Eh? What do you think? As Rachel Maddow says, watch this face. Now, Stepien's testimony uh, wasn't the only um, use of uh, video depositions today. Like I mentioned earlier, they played lengthy portions from Willie the Bar's deposition. Um. And let me repeat something here, or uh, quote it from Barr in his deposition. He said, quote, There was never an indication of interest in what the actual facts were. I was somewhat demoralized because I thought, boy, if he really believes this stuff, he's lost contact with, well, he's become detached from reality if he really believes this stuff, end quote. <laughs> And these video depositions uh, that the committee has been playing, um, they've also given the committee a chance to show testimony from others in Trump's so-called inner circle, including the bitch Ivanka and the thug fuck Jared Kushner, 
without having to bring them in to testify, which neither one of them would have done in a public hearing. You know that as well as I do. And by just showing video depositions then, and I like this, the committee controls which sound bites are to be aired. Now, I think that is appropriate and proper and just, but it's going to be used by the fascist Christians to say, well, they just they just cherry picked everything. They left out the part where Ivanka said how much Jesus loves her father. Even though, of course, that was never said. They left out the part where where Jared said that he was pleased to have helped make America great again. Um, that wasn't said either. But that's what the fascist Christians are going to do. I'm sure that the machinery to get that kind of false bullshit into social media has already been oiled up and is operating tonight, even as we are doing this podcast. Well, they left out the part where where Bill Barr said that none of that really happened, that Trump did one win. They left out the part where Ivanka said how much she loves her daddy, even though he tried to rape her. And, and she doesn't believe that that he lost the election. They they really that's the part you should hear. Well, not the part about he tried to rape her, but um, and I'm not sure that he did, but it sure as fuck looked like it, didn't it? But th that's what the, the Christian fascists are doing tonight. That's what they're doing. They're putting this shit together to get out there to continue to confuse the fascist Christians who are easily confused. Trust me. So the, uh, the hearing is to a degree to borrow testimony or a term from uh, another witness's testimony, the hearing is illustrating uh, the key role played by Willie the Bar in trying to set the tone for so-called team normal. <laughs> team normal. Oh, my God. Two teams in the White House. Team normal and team fucked up, right? Um, and the team normal, of course, like I mentioned, that's the campaign White House officials who are trying to uh, convince and advise the orange vomit that fraud claims were bogus. So, um, and CNN also says it's not for a lack of trying to find fraud. Barr had issued a controversial memo weeks earlier that allowed prosecutor to, prosecutors to look at election crime claims even before certification of the vote. And Barr's move had prompted a top public integrity official at the Justice Department to resign. Well, yeah, there were a few people in the Justice Department who put loyalty to their oath. And loyalty to respect for truth. Above any kind of blowjob to Bill Barr, even though Bill Barr was on his knees flating the hell out of Donald Trump until he decided he didn't want to do it anymore. So. Now, of course, the, the, the Democrats and, and others, and I put myself in this group, really reviled uh, Willie the Barr when he was in office. Uh, I can remember accusing him of using the power of the Justice Department to do what Trump told him to do, right? And how Barr undermined the Russia investigation, took everything that uh, 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 the Mueller report had, trashed it, hid it, and issued, what was it, a six-page memo that said, well, there's no there there. <clears throat> That's what Barr did. You remember that? Saying Trump was exonerated fucking pig. And then Barr was pushing these right-wing conspiracy theories. But over the last two weeks, Barr, ostensibly on the road to Damascus, has gone from Saul to Paul. And all of a sudden, he's become a new hero of sorts for a bunch of liberals. Hey, let me tell you, liberals, don't go down that path. Fuck Bill Barr. I mean, seriously, don't look at him as anything other than the weasel that he is. 
And there are liberals who are praising Barr because now Barr is debunking and condemning Trump's bullshit about the 2020 election. Now, I'm sorry. Um, any liberals who want to do that are kidding themselves. I mean, a dollar late. I'm sorry, a day late and a dollar short. Willie the Barr, you little weasel. Now, the fact is that this committee has featured clips from Willie the Barr's uh, deposition more than any other witness so far, according to CNN. And they've interviewed more than a thousand people as part of this year long investigation. But what the clips have done, these video clips, they've established Willie the Barr as the highest ranking Trump administration official to affirm the legitimacy of the election results and to say that Trump's relentless effort to claim the election was tainted by fraud is, to quote Willie the Barr, bullshit. But the fascist Christians aren't going to learn, listen to that. They'll just be offended that Willie used the term bullshit. Why couldn't he have said BS? Did he have to say that? Um, and during today's hearing also, Barr took apart this bullshit claim by Trump about the illegal vote dumps in Detroit. Remember that? Eh? And... Barr shredded the bullshit about vote rigging by Dominion with its election machines and, and these other conspiracy theory bullshit stuff that led five people to lose their lives when these fucking little boys uh, dressing up like men stormed the Capitol. Five people died. Maybe more if you count the suicides. You rotten son of a bitches, you so-called militias, you're a bunch of creepy little bastards. I hope every one of you goes to jail for the rest of your useless bullshit lives. But that's what they did. Stand down and stand by. I mean, what the fuck? Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.